Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is a thrift haul. This is about 50% bins, 50% honey hole thrift store haul. So it's kind of a combo, but I found some really great stuff. It's pretty big. So I'm going to move through this pretty quickly. Um, if you need more information, all of this stuff should be listed on eBay and Poshmark. So feel free to go check it out. At the very end, I'll also, also show you 10 items that I got from a wholesale company. I don't recommend them. I just happen to have a credit or like some point credit thing that was going to expire and it broke down that I got 10 new tag items for $35 and I couldn't pass it up because, you know, inventory. But let's just jump into stuff. A few of these things have sold and I need to get them shipped out today. So I'll be sure to tell you which ones those are. But first, I'm going to start with my favorite find. Uh, this I paid up for. I think this is the only item I paid up for, but this is a pair of free bird boots. You can see right here. They are intentionally distressed and they do have a couple signs of wear, uh, but nothing major. This style is called the Wyatt and I believe this is size seven. Comps for this show that I should be able to get maybe just over 200 and I think it was worth paying up for. I think I paid 25, 28 or something like that in the high twenties. And, um, I'm really excited about that. Next up is a bag. I really like the style. I also just think it's a great neutral. You know, you can have a beige, a black, and a gray bag as kind of your basic neutrals. Um, but there's just this very subtle studding, obviously the exposed zipper. This is Badgley Mishka. Uh, I don't pay much for this brand because it's got very inconsistent resale value, but it is a good quality brand. Um, the inside is pretty decent, except there is a small tear on the top part of this lining. But other than that, it's in pretty great shape. So uh, comps for this exact style in different colors kind of range from about 25 to 50, 60, I think is on the high end. So I'm expecting probably right about 40 and I really like it, just the size. All right, I got some bin shoes. So these aren't the best condition or best uh, style, things I wouldn't pay up for in a regular thrift store, but at the bins, I like, I like picking up shoes. All right, this is a pair of Steve Madden. And I think I said this recently, I've never really picked up this brand until I saw McThrifty talk about her um, luck selling Steve Madden shoes. And not for high dollar, but for decent amounts and, and pretty well. So Steve Madden, just some sandals, kind of the wrong season, but I liked the gold studs. And these were a size, these are size 11, so slightly larger. But anyways, I thought they were really adorable style, great neutral with a little pop. And I think I'll, I can't remember everything. I've been listing this stuff in the last week or two, but um, I want to say I should be able to get about 25, maybe 30 for these. These I thought were a great find until I realized there were some condition issues. These are rag and bone, right? Yes, <laughs> rag and bone. I actually have a very similar pair of boots like this listed in my closet, not the exact style, but similar. Um, and here is rag and bone down there. These are also pretty, I think these are size 10-ish around there, uh, size 41, but I thought great ankle boots. Unfortunately, this, back part of one of the boots is the stitching is off that can be repaired also the inside um which you probably won't be able to see but the i'll just bring it out this has come off on both of them and it just looks kind of like a little bit of a hot mess in there um like they would they can get it they can get it fixed but anyways they're not in perfect condition you can see that they're kind of a little mangled right here. So I'm probably only expecting, I mean, they're still a great quality boot and I don't think any of those are obvious. I would wear them as is, but um, you could get the shoe liners, no big deal, but I'm probably only expecting about 25 to 30 for these. Um, if they were in good condition, I'd probably expect, you know, 60, 70. So here's a pair of Donald Pliner, which I don't pick up a lot, but at the bins, I thought a little fun pop of red sandals, kind of a good vacation shoe, just cause they seem pretty comfortable. Uh, this is a size eight and a half medium and pretty great shape. So yeah, these are a pair of Vionic and these are really great shape. Just have a little bit of sheen or kind of a faux reptile look to them. Uh, another comfort brand and I have pretty decent luck with this, uh, this brand of shoes. These were a size, these are a size US 9, 
and I'm expecting probably right about 35 for these. Again, mainly I'm expecting about 30% of my asking price. So sometimes I'm a little off and I know that confuses people, but it is what it is. All right. These are a pair of boots. I'm not sure if I should have grabbed them. I guess I'm just in the mood for fall, winter kind of stuff. Um, these are size eight and a half and just a great little basic. I also am a fan of the flat boots just for comfort. I don't know if it's going to easily show in here. Probably not. Uh, but this is Seychelles, which has been sold, but not always at Anthropology. Uh, these have some light signs of wear and the comps aren't that great. So I might only get about 25 for these, but um, boot season. So, all right, moving on to clothes. This is new with tags, Peruvian connection. And if you can see the tag, it's a size large. And here's the, the tag. Now this brand can do really well, especially if it's got any alpaca in it, uh, but this doesn't. Some of the stuff, if it doesn't have that, I, I wouldn't pick up at full price at retail stores, but because this was new with tags, it's a size large, it's a nice little print, kind of a faux wrap dress. Um, I thought it was worth the pickup. And I'm probably expecting about 40-ish for this. So this item sold, and this is one of my absolute favorite brands to pick up, find, wear, resell, everything, um, American Giants, and this is a men's size medium. This is their original sweatshirt, which is kind of a heavier style sweatshirt. They're classic. This is the one that um, had a waiting list for like six months, years ago, but just really well made, made in the US and um, very desirable. So this already sold for $50. Obviously it sold very quickly. And typically this brand does sell pretty quickly for me if I don't keep it. Because <laughs> when I find it and it's my size, I tend to keep it because it is one of my personal favorites. But this is gonna get shipped off today, so. All right, this is a brand that I recently found for the first time and then I found it again, which is Varley. It's kind of an athletic, athleisure wear uh, brand. This is kind of a cropped uh, turtleneck ribbed sweater. And yeah, some of the comps for this stuff is like, or this similar style is around 30 to 40. So I'm expecting probably right around 35. But uh, January, when people are starting to work off some of their holiday pounds, <laughs> we'll be working out again soon. So I'm already in the mood to pick up for January. This was a new brand to me, and I think it's a collab, La Tote and Olivia Copel. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but you can see the label right there. It looks like she's maybe an influencer of some type. So uh, this is an adorable dress. White, which is always nervous, but I did pick this up at the thrift store. This is kind of a midi length. It's got lining that, you know, goes to above the knee and then the whole like lace part goes a little bit further, but it's just very dainty and adorable. Uh, this fit perfectly on the size six mannequin, um, even though this is a size eight. So I think it runs a little bit small, but not too many comps for this. I think there's one listed for like a hundred or something, which seems kind of crazy. I think I'm probably expecting somewhere around 40, maybe up to 50, but um, probably about 40 for that. My first time finding this, it does have a small flaw. I tried to stain treat it, but I was so, so excited. Wedgie, I know so many people pick these up all the time. Um, the Levi's Wedgie is, has been for the last couple of years, a pretty desirable Levi's, Levi's style. Um, I, it's kind of, a slim leg. I think it's kind of like a, well, it's, it's high rise. Anyways, there are some marks on the back. I'm not sure if you can see, um, right here, there's some marks right here. There's a mark. Anyways, I tried to do a little stain treatment. I did the best I could still in wearable condition. Um, these were a size 29 and I think these run a little bit small as well, but anyways, even with the spots, I'm still expecting maybe about 30 for these. One of my favorite brands to pick up is Eileen Fisher. This is, I think, perfect to just throw over like a black dress uh, for kind of a more, you know, business formal occasion. Um, or you could dress it down with a white t-shirt and jeans and just kind of spruce up that look a little bit. But I love the texture, it's kind of a wave. And I like Eileen Fisher. I'm expecting probably about 30 to 40 for this. This is Barefoot Dreams size small. 
I should say that my honey hole is pretty affordable. So on average, everything here was about three, three and a half dollars, the bins and the regular thrift store kind of combined. So really good deal on a lot of this stuff. Um, Barefoot Dreams, size small, it's a cozy chic hoodie, hooded cardigan, and perfect for the season. I'm expecting probably about 40 to 45 for this. I think maybe about 40 for this. It's not one of the most desirable, but. All right, I did do a little, it just it had a little bit of discoloration on the neck and I did a little bit of stain treatment. This is a new brand to me, which is Roan. Uh, this is just a short sleeve tee, men's tee, and um, it's just got a little bit of texture. I don't know if you can see, but men's size medium, and it looks like the resale value of these are pretty decent. I'm expecting probably about 25 to 30 for that. All right, a bins pickup. Current Elliott, it doesn't sell quickly for me or really for that much, but it's just quality and I tend to like their styles. So this is Current Elliott, it's kind of a hard to read tag when it's been washed a few times, but size 27, it does have the tag that some people cut out, which has all the information on the item. So this is the cropped zip. And so you can see the zippers at the ankle. So just kind of a nice basic. I think this is cute to wear with some ankle boots and I probably only get about 25, maybe 30 for that. This is Babaton, which is a brand from Aritzia. This is kind of a, just a shorter style blouse. And I did find this exact style name and it looks like this actually does pretty well. So I'm expecting about $30 for this, which was surprising to me. Um, but it looked really cute with some high-waisted jeans or shorts. And I think they make this in different colors. So, all right, I picked up this brand once before and it was the bin so i decided to give it a go it's onio onia o-n-i-a and the weird thing is, is this is an extra small but the buttons indicate that this would be a men's shirt uh but they don't have extra small men's on the website now maybe they did at one point but anyways i listed it under men's um they do make women's stuff as well but yeah, I just thought that was really interesting. Anyways, I'm expecting probably about 25 for that. This is a brand I haven't found in a bit, but it's done pretty well for me. I've sold it a couple times. Big Bud, Big Bud, what is it? What is the full name? There's a full name. There's another word on it. But anyways, uh, extra small. It's definitely an oversized style because this could easily fit a small medium, but I'm expecting probably about 35 for this. I got quite a few items randomly, which I never find this brand. I found it like once or twice in three years, but Sweaty Betty, uh, I found quite a bit. It wasn't all the same size, so I thought that was really interesting, but it's kind of a workout brand. It doesn't have the greatest resale. Some of it can do a little bit better than others, but um, a tank like this, I might only get about 20, but it's a nice blue color and the rest is coming. It's just in the bag. This is Anthropology Odile. Just a little blouse with a tie at the back of the waist. And I know, again, it's not the right season, but it's lightweight at the bins. So uh, this is adorable. It's a size 10, but I think it runs a little bit small. So I'll probably only get about 20 for that. All right, I really liked this. It was really tempting to keep. This is definitely my color scheme of what I like to wear, but this is soft surroundings. It's kind of a, it's a one size, but it says petite, like part of the tag is cut off, the size tag is cut off, but it does say petite right there. I mean, I guess that's just means it's a little bit shorter, but it's just kind of a um, open front cardigan, a little bit longer, and it's got some fringe on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't look like this does that well, but we are going into the right season and I just love the color. So if this doesn't sell, I might be wearing it this fall, but um, with this, I'm expecting probably about 25, maybe 30 for, for it. This is Textile by Elizabeth and James. Uh, Elizabeth and James I don't pick up too often because it is sold at Kohl's and it just kind of brought down the value of everything for the most part. Uh, but I don't know, these are, it was the bins. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and explain other than when you're in that mindset, it's low rise, they're pretty tiny. They are a size 24, it, the style is the Tyler, which is I believe a boot cut. Um, but you know, low rise might be coming back. So anyways, I'm only probably expecting about 25 for these. 
This is a brand that has very mixed comps based off of the item, but uh, L apostrophe A G E N C E. Um, I love green, so I'm a sucker for it. Green skinny jeans. It is a mid to high rise, and I think just a really great fall winter piece. These are a size 25, so also fairly tiny. Um, I'm not expecting too much, but probably about maybe 30. All right, this one sold. This is an anthropology, sometimes sold at anthropology brand, Rosie Nira, and it's a size medium. This actually sold internationally on eBay. Um, it looks really adorable on the mannequin because it kind of cinches in at the waist and then just has a little bit of this um, kind of tiered, not tiered, layered, kind of flows a little bit uh, um, past the waist, but it's adorable on the mannequin. This actually sold for $34 plus shipping and they paid extra shipping to get it. I can't remember where they're at, but wherever they are internationally, um, it's a really great little plum purple color and this is getting shipped out today too. All right, this is Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby. Again, not the right season that we're going into, but I really like this style. It's just very classic. It's a great vacation piece. It's got the button front, off the shoulder, and uh, size eight. It looked great on the size six mannequins. So anyways, I'm expecting maybe about 40 for this. It's funny because I got that 100 pound thread box a few months ago, and which it, there is a video on it, but um, I got this brand in the box and then I found it, which I probably would have looked it up, but a nine, a nine, E nine, I nine, someone corrected me. I'm, I don't remember. Um, anyways, Bing. And this is just a black dress. It's got this elastic, um, where it kind of pulls up. It's kind of a short mini, but it looks cute on the mannequin. Um, and this brand tends to do pretty well. That last item I got in the thread up box did sell. Um, I'm expecting, I believe about $50 for this. So we'll see the t-shirts by that brand, some of the sweatshirts and sweaters. There's some graphic stuff that can sell for the hundreds, uh, resell for in the hundreds. So, um, it's a great brand to look out for. Just not every piece is going to sell for that much. All right. This I picked up and I knew it was a collab between Uniqlo and Anna Sui, but I just, I liked it as far as the print, uh, size small definitely oversized, kind of has that retro, you know, 70s, 60s look to it. So um, anyways, I liked the dress and I might only get about 20, maybe 25 for it, but I think there's already a couple watchers on it just because it's so colorful and fun. This is my first time finding this brand, Sincerely Jewels. I believe it was a, a vlogger or blogger that had this line. Um, this is just a sweatshirt that says off duty. The uh, graphic is cracking a little bit, so I just noted that I'm probably only going to get about $20 to $25 for this, but I was just excited to find this brand because I've seen other people have luck with it. I think it used to be had a higher resale value year, a couple years ago, but it's still selling according to comps, so we'll see. There, This is Spiritual Gangster, and this is a size extra small. It's kind of a very subtle ribbed long sleeve tee. And then right here on the side, it says gangster love. So that's adorable. And I love yellow. So with this, I'm expecting probably 25, maybe even 30 for that. This is an anthropology top. I thought this was a good fall piece. It's got a little bit of texture. It's got this kind of eyelash fringe up here. This is postmark size small, and it does have a little bit of an exposed zipper on the back as well. So I'll probably only get about 20 for this, maybe, <laughs> maybe a little bit less, but we'll see. All right, this kimono I was excited about just because the style seems, you know, free people kimonos seem to do pretty well. This is free people one, FP one, uh, size medium, but I kind of think it's more like a one size fits most. The downside is, which I left them because someone might want to use the, the loops, but it doesn't come with any sort of belt easy. I mean, it's not obvious because of the print. So I would probably just wear it as is, or if someone wanted to put their own belt with it, they absolutely could, but it's just a floral kimono, very typical boho and kind of knee length. So with this, I'm actually expecting 25, maybe 30, even with the missing belt. All right. Boy of band, boy band of outsiders 
which is a line of Band of Outsiders. It is a pretty expensive brand, but not everything does that well. I have found with the pieces I picked up, it tends to run small. Um, so this, uh, they have a vanity size system. So one, which is what this is, is a size small, but I would say it runs like an extra small. <laughs> um, so anyways, but I like the color. It's a great little fall piece, three fourth length sleeves. And yeah, I'll probably expect about 30, maybe 35 for that. This is Etienne Marcel. I found this brand a couple times. It's got very inconsistent comps. I just don't think many people are looking for it. Um, but I do like picking up camo and these are camo skinny pants with a zipper at the ankle. And I just feel like camo is just always in style for someone out there. Um, also you can see just a little bit of the ruching at the knees. Um, it allows for more bendability. Is that, is that a word? <laughs> um, so yeah, just a more functional type of addition. With that, I'm probably only expecting about 25, maybe 30. All right, the brand, I, I always tell myself I'm gonna stop picking up and then I keep picking it up, which, you know, it happens, we're all guilty of it, but this has an owl or two owls on it. Um, and it's sweater, sweater going into sweater season. It does have some pilling on it, but I could not leave this little guy behind or these guy and gal, maybe they're, maybe they're BFFs, who knows, but extra small, a little bit longer of a style sweater. So I think this is perfect to wear with some leggings um, or some skinny, skinny pants. But anyways, I'm expecting actually, I did find the exact style, probably maybe 25 to 30 for this. This is a good little vacation top. If you're going somewhere warm, this is Simple NYC. The simple is spelled S-Y-M-P-L-E. And it's just a linen blouse. I think this is a size XL, which is great. I just think it's very classic. Uh, tops exactly like this in different colors range, but I should, I'm expecting probably about 25 for this. This brand surprised me. Um, I wasn't familiar with it. I looked it up. Revtown, the style is the sharp, which is I believe a slim straight, if I remember correctly. Um, just a men's pair of jeans. This does have some slight discoloration at the back of the waistband, which I just noted, but these are a size, 33 waist, 30 inseam. And uh, yeah, these actually look like I should be able to get 25 to 30, which I was surprised because the retail on them is only about 78 or 79 or something like that. All right, this is a designer that doesn't sell quickly for me, but I have sold it a couple times. I think I have one listed right now. Anyways, it is Alberta Ferretti, Ferretti, Ferretti. Butchering, it's fine. Made in Italy. This is an adorable uh, silk blouse. Um, it's obviously been in a bag for <laughs> a few days. So uh, when it's steamed, it has these kinds of draping effects. Um, like right here, there's a seam that kind of goes asymmetrical and it just has this really nice layered effect. This is a really great career piece. I think you can dress this up or down. And the size is US size two. So yeah, I'm expecting maybe about 40, 40 for this. All right, Frank and Eileen, uh, it doesn't usually sell that quickly for me, but I have sold it a number of times. I didn't know anything about the T-Lab. This is just a great little basic. Again, good for the season, long sleeves. And then the bottom has kind of this asymmetrical cut to it. Another item I think would be really adorable with leggings, if you can see right there. Almost has like a little bit of an avant-garde look to it. So this is a size medium. And I think it runs a little bit small in my opinion, but I liked the color, I liked the basic, and I'm expecting probably about 25 for that. This is a silk tank that weighs nothing, which is why I picked it up. It is by Madewell, size zero, but I do like the print. And I think this is a good layering piece. You can easily layer this under a blazer and have a little pop of a print under. So with this, I'm expecting probably about 25, 20, 25. I haven't found this brand in a while and it's done well for me in the past as far as selling for a reasonable amount. Um, Roller, Roberta Roller Rabbit. Uh, typically I've picked up these kind of tunic style tops, which is what this is. And just, you know, fun, colorful prints. This is a size small. I'm, uh, the comps seem to have gone down a little bit, so I'm only expecting maybe about 25 for this, but it's another good vacation piece. 
This is a pair of jeans by the brand Eloquy. Uh, the material tag was cut out. It definitely has stretch, but there is still a size tag. So it is a size 14. I thought these were absolutely adorable. They have this fringe on the bottom, but when I got home and started taking pictures, the fringe is a little inconsistent on this side. So I don't know if you can see, I don't think it's that obvious. I would probably, I think it's just from washing, but I did note it. It brought down the value a little bit. I'm still expecting maybe about 25 for these. Adorable style in my opinion. All right, a pair of CP shades. I love picking up this brand. This is an older tag and it is a size small. These are just some linen pants that are just kind of a cropped straight leg, a uh, nice blue, blue color. Um, yeah, I should be expecting maybe about 35, 40 for these. All right, here is a pair of pants that I don't think photograph well, so I maybe shouldn't have grabbed them, but it's a size 12 Cartonnier Anthropology brand. Uh, but if you can see right here, they kind of have like a peasant, uh, style. Um, I think it's a linen blend pair of pants. You can see a little bit of like subtle pleating on the front. And then I love these buttons, but they are a wide leg cropped. I feel like you've really got to have the right top for this, uh, really right style, but someone with a lot of style, I think could pull this off and make it pretty cool. That's not me, <laughs> but uh, again, it was hard to photograph. So I don't know how quickly this will sell, but I am expecting maybe about 25 for these. Again, if someone like zooms into the pictures, I don't know. Sometimes I don't uh, always think about, is this gonna photograph well? And um, yeah, I bring stuff home that <laughs> doesn't photograph well. All right, this is a pair of pants by Soft Surroundings, size large. These are super comfortable looking and linen and this really nice red color, straight leg. I would love to just lounge in these, but I'm gonna sell them anyways. Not my style, but I know someone's going to love it. I'm expecting probably about 30 for these. I do have a what sold video coming soon. It's from last month and I had a really fun month of sales. So I'm excited to share that. Um, I try to give approximate estimates based off of comps so you understand um, what a certain brand or certain style could go for. It's not an exact science, obviously, but I do think it would have helped me as a new reseller to understand that not everything we pick up is selling for high dollar. Um, sometimes we pick something up knowing it's only going to sell for maybe about 20 or less. <laughs> Hopefully not too often on that, but this is a free people kind of moto tweed jacket. It's got a full zip asymmetrical and it's the normal free people tag, which is a size small. And I really like this with a pair of jeans and some boots, uh, great fall winter piece in my opinion. So I'm expecting maybe 30, 35 for that, just cause it's such a good quality and such a nice piece, but we'll see. Free people's always hit or miss. All right, a couple Lululemon items. This doesn't have a tag. Um, it's just a very lightweight semi sheer top with kind of this very subtle print to it. The only thing that I have is just the logo down here. Um, I would estimate this is probably a size medium, possibly a small based off of the measurements and the fit. Like if you wanted it fitted, I would say it's a good medium. If you wanted it a little bit, you know, less fitted, maybe a good, good for a size small. But anyways, I'm only expecting probably about 20 for this. It's not a super desirable Lululemon item. This is another Lululemon. Oh man. This is one of the, I did find the name, but I can't remember it. This is one of the kind of tank tops that has the exposed built-in bra, um, but it has the cinched waist, a fun little colorful bra, and there's the little logo. With this one, I'm expecting maybe about 25. And there is a size on that. I think it was a size six. Um, if it has a bra, it usually is size four. It usually is on the inside of the um, bra line lining. All right, this is one of the other Sweaty Betty pieces. This is a great full zip uh, hoodie and does have some light pilling, I believe somewhere, but it's a great piece. Here's the Sweaty Betty logo down there, if you can see it. 
and this was a size medium. So I'm expecting for this maybe about 30, 35. Here's another sweaty buddy. This is a, it's not quite short sleeve. It's like half sleeve top. And then the logo is actually, if you can see it kind of right there on the back. Uh, this, I believe the size was size small. It's kind of on the bottom of the inside of the shirt and just another good little workout top. So probably about 20, 25 for that. All right, this is cool. This is the alpaca, alpaca, alpaca fleece. This one is a men's size large and it's a great basic. It's got a mock neck or a higher neck and it's kind of a um, tannish color. So I'm expecting probably about 35, maybe 40 for this. This is a pair of Eileen Fisher pants, size 10. And did it, it was missing the material. I think it's missing the material. So it almost feels like a linen silk blend or something like that, but it's just a straight leg pair of pants. When it's all nice and steamed, it's a great, great pair of pants, but obviously it's been sitting in a bag. So with this, I'm expecting 35-ish, maybe, 30, 35. All right, here is a free people dress. I feel like I've picked this up before. Um, and I know there's a style name for it. I have it written in my description, but it's just a long sleeve boho style dress. It's got a little bit of a deeper V on the back. And this is a free people size small. I put it on the size six mannequin and it was adorable. Um, I'm expecting maybe about 30, 35 for this. This one has a couple flaws and I didn't see it at the bins, but sleeping on snow, with it, which is anthropology, size large. It's got this beautiful embroidery um, down each side and then on the back of the neck area. But there is a faint spot down here, which I didn't try to stain treat. And then there's a pull in the embroidery somewhere and I could not thread it back through. So I just noted that and I'm still expecting maybe 2025 for that. Another spiritual gangster. This is a size extra small and this says good vibes and it's just kind of a long sleeve. It does have that kind of, um, what's the brand I'm blanking on, but it does have kind of the intentional pilling uh, which to me isn't a big deal, but I do try to note it because some people don't expect it and they think it's a flaw, but that's actually just the style. So it's just kind of all over as the style. Um, anyways, I'm expecting maybe about 30, 35, probably about 30 for that. This is Melissa McCarthy 7. I don't pick up 7 unless it's the Melissa McCarthy and I typically don't spend too much on it, but I do like some of the styles. She's got really great styles in her line. This blouse is button front. It actually has a print that's kind of a zodiac map. It's a little hard to see, but when you look closely, that's what it is. And then it has a tie at the back, which is really flattering for you know, pulling in the waist a little bit. But this is a 1X. I'm expecting 25, maybe 30 for this. Really adorable style. This is another spiritual gangster. This is a size medium. And this is just a cropped hoodie. It's got a little heart over here. And then on the back, it says radiate love. So um, yeah, I'm expecting probably about 25, 30 for that. A lot of the spiritual gangster is somewhere between 20 to 35 for me. All right, this is just the softest. That's why I picked it up, but blank NYC, size medium. I thought this was a great fall piece. I love the color almost kind of matches my hair <laughs> in this light, but uh, it's just an asymmetrical kind of moto look to it. Uh, this is just a faux suede, again, just buttery soft. So with this, I'm expecting probably only 25. Um, this brand doesn't do very well for me, but I felt it and I couldn't, I couldn't leave behind. All right, this is a Torrid jacket, size three, equivalent to a three X. This is kind of a knee length trench. So it hits right about the knee area. And then it has a, it doesn't have any buttons on it um, on the front, but you just use the waist tie to cinch it. Uh, just a really great basic classic style. Perfect for the season. The sleeves, um, which I'm just noticing a little bit of a spot. So I think I'm gonna have to note that 
right at the back of a sleeve, but it does have the roll tab sleeves so you can make the sleeves um, like this. Anyways, I'm expecting probably about, I don't know, 40-ish, somewhere around there. I think I started it around 50, so. Here's a pair of men's Lululemon shorts. What a couple days will do in a bag, two items, uh, wrinkles. And I know some people ask, do I re-steam to package? All of these have been photographed and steamed already. Um, when I package, I fold them neatly and things get wrinkled when they ship. So um, it's amazing what packaging will do to kind of restretch out items. Uh, if, I, if it's really bad and when I go to package it, I might toss it in the dryer if the material content allows me to do that. Uh, but for the most part, I've never had any complaints on wrinkles. They're, they're shipped folded, they get wrinkles. So hopefully people can, there's some hummingbirds outside. Hopefully people, some people when they receive items can either iron or steam their own items when they receive them. But these are a size 32. And I didn't notice at the time, but there is a faint mark, which it's gonna be hard to see. Um, I think it's right around here somewhere, but I just noted it. I'm still expecting maybe about 30 for these. And I think I already have a couple watchers. All right, another seven, uh, Melissa McCarthy seven item, different size. So this is a new with tags. It's the slim boot style, but this, it also has this kind of slimming silhouette system technology. Anyways, it's new with tags. It doesn't have the original price, but that's always great. It's also a size 26 W and yeah, perfect for the season. So I'm actually expecting probably about, I think 40 is what the comps said in new condition. Um, so I was excited about that. All right, I picked this up at the bins. I have one other item listed. It's got a couple watchers, but it hasn't sold. So I'm not sure about this brand. I think it's sold on Revolve. Um, so it is a pricey brand, but the resale value doesn't appear to be great for most items or some items. This is a size 27, it's a cotton blend but it has this kind of exposed seam on the front and then it's kind of a, a flare style so i thought it was pretty adorable there is a faint mark somewhere and i just noted that i might only get 2025 20, because of that but i do like the style and i think someone could really rock this so all right this is a pair of prana pants and it does have the material tag cut out but i found the, this exact style so i could list it with the correct name but it's just a straight leg it's got an elastic uh, waist and then it's got some pockets. Very comfortable looking. This is a size six, size small. Um, oh man, they just look so comfortable. But the comps for this style look to be that I should be able to get about 30, somewhere around there. So that's a good pickup. Not all Prana sells well for me. Um, so I do tend to look up similar styles uh, when picking up that brand. All right, this is an adorable pair of wide leg crop jeans. I've only picked up this brand once before and I believe they sell it at some of the high-end department stores. Sink Asap, uh, five, five and seven. Is that what it translates to in French? Again, never taken French, but I believe I'm close with that. Anyways, uh, these are a high rise. They have some zipper pockets and then they have a kind of wider leg cropped style. I did find the style name, so it is listed correctly. And it's kind of a, it's almost like a black denim color, but uh, really, really like this style, size eight. And I'm actually expecting possibly around 60 for this. Some people have these listed for hundred. I think I listed mine for right around 80. So this is another, no, <laughs> I've not picked up sun, sundry this day, but this is a pair of sweatpants. This brand does okay for me. This is a size one. They have some vanity sizing, so I think that's equivalent to a small, but these are just some sweatpants with some stripes on the bottom and of one leg. So I thought those were cute. It has that worn in look feel, but um, fall, winter, nothing better than a pair of sweatpants. So I'm expecting probably about 25 for those, maybe 30. This is by Anthropology, and this is just a little cropped. Um, top, this is extra, extra small petite, <laughs> so tiny, but I think this is a really fun, maybe New Year's top, put this with a black skirt, a little bit of shimmer, so probably only get about 20 for that. All right, so moving on, that's my haul, a uh, really big assortment of stuff, and um, 
Again, apologies to move quickly, but it's a lot of stuff. Moving on to the B&G Trading. I ordered something from them a year and a half, two years ago. It was not great. I ended up returning that box because there were a lot of issues. They did send me a few items as an apology, but um, I, I've never, I don't recommend the company based off of my very short experience. But for some reason I got points from that purchase and they sent me an email that my points were about to expire. And I thought maybe it was like five or $10 off, but it ended up being like 60 or $70 off a box. So I bought a 10 item box, new with tags, Nordstrom. Um, I don't think I, I would not pay full price for this box personally, but uh, and, it, and it ended up being a decent deal because I had that deal. And that's for anyone. That's not for just YouTubers. They have a point system. So anyways, this is a brand called Likely. Uh, new with tags. It's got the information um, on the tag. But this is just a off the shoulder or one shoulder dress. A little asymmetrical at the bottom. Polyester. I don't know this brand, but it looks like it's sold at Nordstrom. So I'm expecting maybe about 30, 35 for that. I got three items from this brand, Sea Folly, which is right here. This is retailed for 128, which is on one of the tags. And this is the, it's a, it's a dress uh, beach cover up. It's a size XL. I think this is absolutely adorable if you're going on vacation, but it's just a little beach cover up, very lightweight. It's got some ties on the side and I think it has some pockets. Yeah, has some pockets. So just a fun little print. The cover ups from this brand didn't look like they did too great, but I'm expecting maybe about 30 for that. This is a French connection top. It is one shoulder as well. It's kind of this velvet material. This is a good size as well. This is a size large and French Connection. I don't pick up this brand, even new with tags, um, but I might be able to get about 25 for this. So because of the size and it's kind of a base, good basic. The Sea Folly, I got two swimsuits and the swimsuits look like they do better from this brand, but this is a blue one piece and the size on this, the retail was 169. The size is a size eight, or sorry, a size US. This is an Australian brand. So the eight is the, the Australian size, but kind of a textured, nice little one piece. I think the cons for this were maybe 40 to 50. Here's the other Sea Folly, which is a one piece as well. And then it's just got some strappiness on the back. <laughs> this I believe was, a size US 10 and new with tags should be able to get, like I said, about 40 to 50 for this as well. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren, I had to sneeze. Uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren, a brand I don't typically pick up. If it's new with tags, maybe if it's a good style, this is retailed for $80. Nice little linen blouse. I can't complain, but again, I probably would only spend maybe four or $5 for this at a thrift. Um, this is a size medium and I think the pricing of these boxes is something like 12, around 12 per item if you paid the full price. So again, the swimsuits maybe, but most of this other stuff I wouldn't. Bailey 44, this is small, made in USA. This is a dress, it's kind of a shirt dress and it does have the tag, this retail for 198. But if you know anything about this brand, it does not have a strong resale value. Um, also a lot of the stuff, there's other people who have bought these boxes and gotten the, the B&G stuff. So there are plenty listed in the same condition. So I don't think any of this is really gonna sell too quickly, but I might be able to get 25 for this. Okay, this is, <laughs> this actually went with the haul. <laughs> this is not the B&G, but apparently it got them in the wrong bag. I tried to separate them, but this was a new designer to me. Again, not B&G, but Anne, Demule Meister. Uh, she's a really, really interesting designer. And this is a button front shirt. But on the back, it's got a couple buttons to like have a flap on the back go up. So I think you can wear it down or you can button it up like that. 
Uh, she's got runway shows, definitely interesting style, very avant-garde, very cool in my opinion. I've never heard of this designer, but I'm expecting quite a bit. I wanna say, I can't remember how I price this, but I wanna say I'm expecting somewhere between 50 and 100, but really fun, uh, fine with that. All right, Polo, Ralph Lauren, again, a brand I don't typically pick up. This is just a polo shirt. The retail, it's been covered up, but this is a size medium, slim fit, just a classic polo. Uh, I'm expecting probably about 20, 20 for this. So, and then I did have one thing from the BNG box sell already, and that sold for $39. I'll insert a picture. That was a Halston Heritage, new with tags, size XL. The graphic on it said 54, as in Studio 54. Um, where I believe he went. I know they've got the movie out if you want to learn about Halston, but um, that sold for 39 on Poshmark and I was happy about that. I also had two items sell that sold uh, a few days ago and have already been shipped out. One was a pair of Tory Burch flats. These were the Lowell flats, L-O-W-E-L-L. -L. Uh, these sold for $60 on Poshmark in a day. So I was really excited about that. And I had a Sundance tunic top that sold. It was kind of this plaid um, tunic and that sold for $31 on Poshmark. It was a size XL and yeah, so that's my huge haul. I will be back hopefully with a what sold next in the next video and be sure to hit the thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.